Elsewhere now, British ambassador to the U.S., Sir Kim Derrick, has resigned in the past hour. Kim Derrick was at the center of a diplomatic spat between London and Washington over leaked cables where he called U.S. President Donald Trump and his administration inept and insecure. Our correspondent Ollie Barrett joins us now from London with the latest. Ollie, Mr. Derrick seemed to have the full backing of the U.K. government. What more do we know about what triggered his resignation here? Well, he says that what he wants to do is put an end to the speculation about his role. He says that the situation is making it impossible for me to carry out my role as I would like. And he therefore says it's time for a new UK ambassador to Washington. You're quite right that the UK government had given Sir Kim Derrick its full backing. But overnight, Boris Johnson, who may well be the next UK prime minister, had not given Sir Kim Derrick his full backing. He would not commit to keeping him in post if he does indeed get into Downing Street. We understand from multiple sources close to Sir Kim Derrick that he watched that debate between Boris Johnson and Jeremy Hunt and came to the view that it was uh, much better for him now to remove himself given that Boris Johnson wouldn't give him his full backing as ambassador to the United States. Sir Kim Derrick clearly felt that he couldn't continue his role when the US president is saying he won't deal with him and when the man who may well be the next UK prime minister says he may not stay in post. All right, so how much of an influence do you actually think Mr. Trump's reaction had on Mr. Derrick's decision to resign, though? A huge amount. It all stemmed from that. When uh, Donald Trump said that he wouldn't deal with Sir Kim Derrick, that made his role very, very difficult indeed. In the last couple of days, we already saw him missing a couple of appointments in Washington that he would normally have been in the room for. The UK's International Trade Secretary, Liam Fox, was in town holding talks with Ivanka Trump. Sir Kim Derrick did not attend that meeting. We understand there were a couple of other invitations from US officials that were withdrawn after Donald Trump came out on Twitter and was so critical of Sir Kim Derrick and also of UK Prime Minister Theresa May. This could potentially have a huge impact on the UK civil service going forward. Career diplomats will now no longer be sure of the backing of politicians back in London. We will also see whether politics plays into the replacement of Sir Kim Derrick. If Boris Johnson is the next Prime Minister, will he appoint a career diplomat from the UK's civil service or will he, will he make a more political appointment, someone that he believes can get close to Donald Trump? All right, thanks for that update. Ollie Barrett speaking to us from London.